welcome to another episode of The Fab and the Furious. I hope everybody's well. I hope your Mother's Day was amazing. Even if you have not birthed a child, you have helped raise one in some way, shape, or form. So I hope you enjoyed your day. I'm Roxy Fab. Introductions, as you always know, to my left is Rima. To her left is Naomi. And to her left is Kahan. We are missing Belito and Cassandra's are <clears throat> sick today. And uh, Belito is resting due to his big, gigantic opening of his play, musical, The Hustle. So tonight we're going to talk about insecurities or self-assurance. So as we know, Aisha Curry made a statement. Let me put my glasses on to read it. <clears throat> and she put, something that really bothers me and honestly has given me a sense of a little bit of an insecurity is the fact that, yeah, there are all these women like throwing themselves at him. But me, like in the past 10 years, I don't have any of that. I have zero. Sounds weird, but like male attention. And so then I begin to internalize it and I'm like, is something wrong with me? So basically, you know, she's basically saying she doesn't get any male attention. It's been all these years. Women are throwing themselves mm -hmm. at him and uh, she's getting none of it. So she says, it's not like she wants the attention, but it would be nice to know that somebody is looking. So we're going to just jump in because we've been jumping in before we hit record. <laughs> All right, like I used to go in the double Dutch road back in the day. Um, you know, because I don't think it's insecurity. I look at, she said it was insecurity on her part. I look at it as self-assurance. I think like we all want to know, well, I don't know. How about I speak for me? I know I want to know sometimes that I still got it. Sometimes I feel like, you know, uh, without the lashes and, and, and the concealer and the foundation and the wig, sometimes I don't think I have it. But when I put it on, I absolutely know I got all of it. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I'm not insecure on that part because I like myself regardless. But I do need a little like, well, dad, you know, with the mini fro and nothing. Am I still good? We good? So I don't know, you know what I mean, how everybody else feels. But that's, that's my point. But, you know, you can't say that online. And think that people ain't gonna clap back. Goodness. <laughs> you can't do it. So, you know, we'll say y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so over this this conversation, like all over down my timeline. I'm like, come on. Like they made it bigger than what it was. All she mm -hmm. was saying was, like you said, do I still got it? And am I still attractive? I mean, your husband's gonna tell you you're beautiful. And you believe him, but then he's kind of like he's he biased because that's your husband. He's going to tell you. He's <laughs> he better. Okay. Not, not saying he's lying, but it's like he's biased. Like if my husband and boyfriend was like, oh, babe, we look good, he's supposed to say that. It, it, I mean, it's probably true, but at the same time, it's like, okay. If you're supposed to say that. <laughs> but now Johnny, Johnny on the spot over here is like, oh, hey, you, you looking good. Nice. Like, oh, thank you. Like, right. And I think for me, I feel like that's the difference. So what we kind of touched on was that, you know, in the past she was complaining about guys coming at her or whatever the case may be. And now she's saying, okay, I'm not getting attention. And I feel like there's a difference between attention and that aggressive, like coming after you stuff. Yeah. So as a woman, it's kind of like to get a look. To get a, hey, how you doing, beautiful, something like that. It's like, that's very welcome. It's like, okay, you don't have to holler at me or anything like that. But just that little compliment, you know, while you're walking down the street feels good. But, hey, what's up? What you do? No, I'm married. I'm okay, but thank you. No, I'm just saying, what's up? You got a fat ass. Like, I'm just trying to. But they all that's know when. <laughs> they all know she's married. But so that, does know. that ever stop? Right. But to, to, to me, to so I think honest, that now it stops you think more men and it stops women. Yeah. Facts. Women will holler at you and the bling is in, 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 in their eye and they'd be like, hey, what's up with you? How you doing? It'll so stop. That is the right. attractive. It, it'll get yeah. right. <laughs> for women. Right? I don't know why. Oh, yeah. yeah. well, yeah. I think yeah. there are women. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. men, <laughs> men rarely, because in the, it's like when the confrontation comes, they com they confront another dude like it, it, it it's, it's levels. Well, it has to be a man you res you respect. Right, yeah, it's different. So that's what it is. Kind of like a sucker, or in some ways, <laughs> they presented themselves 
married. But I feel like there's a lot of married guys in the NBA or just in public, period. Mm-hmm. But there, if, if they give the perception of there's some openings here, mm-hmm. I feel like the lack of respect is is not there from guys. Right, right, right. So then they will shoot their shot. Right. And there's right. certain women that give off that aura which she she wasn't giving off. Right. Like, for a long time. Right. Don't even bother. Don't so for her to say that now it is a little bit I I took it as jealousy. Really? Okay. Yeah. Of him getting the attention. Because with because of the context in which she said it. Mm-hmm. So I feel mm-hmm. like some people said, well she was speaking as a married woman it is like she started it all with he got a bunch of groupies and women <laughs> And I don't have any. Mm-hmm. And to me, it made it seem like, you know, I'm hot too. Like, I'm Chef mm-hmm. Curry. I'm cooking. I'm doing whatever she's doing. She kind of like a celebrity too. Right, right, right. So right. to me, I took it as that. Like, but I don't he know, get all this attention. Too, I'm, I don't even know, like, in the industry, you don't, I mean, there's male groupies, but I, I don't think I it's think the same right. with men. You know, men's going to have the chicks out in their closet in the, in the, in the <laughs> hotel. Right. Especially a ball player. Right. right, but with women, you don't have that kind of, mm-mm, you know, interaction like that. And so I feel like there's some way. women though that even though they're married, because they put that type of energy out there, they still get that. So to me, I'll say, say like an Amber Rose, she was married to Wiz Khalifa. I'm sure she was still getting a bunch of guys. What's up? And all right, because she put that energy. Yeah, she didn't, she she didn't come out off there. as a wife. Yeah, right, to me, right. she didn't give off wifey aura. And this right. and this some other women that come off that way too right so i feel like with her it's like y'all always presenting yourselves as the huxtables or something right so that makes sense nobody really gonna be like what's up aisha right out of Just, respect of you yeah, yeah right, of right, you right, right. and your husband i'm not going to come at you like that so that does make sense but i uh, i think that for her it was a little bit of both you know what you said as far as I don't know if the word is jealousy, but I think it's like that, you know, like, damn, like, he still got it. I don't. <laughs> but she's not thinking it in, no, in the context of what you were just saying. You know, like, some guys interpreted that too. What? Lil D. Because they've been together basically since they were kids, right? And she immediately went into having kids, married, and she's pretty much maybe been Steph's wife. She never really been in the street. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of some dudes that I know that I talked to took it as like, oh, she basically been living this married mom life. Oh, and she life. and she basically hasn't been out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they took that as her saying that as like, I might want to dip my toe in the water. Right. Now, know. I've heard people who have been with so their right. husbands since they were. Mm-hmm. It does become this like have I experienced a I life yeah. have like you know you hear your girlfriends or guy friends like whichever side it's on when you've been together that many years it's like damn I didn't get to because when you're that young you're not really dating y'all were boyfriend and girlfriend but y'all right. weren't dating so then you hear the dating stories good and bad it's like damn that sounds crazy but but then I can't relate to that because I, I never think, experienced right. it. But then to me, I don't know. I I do. I believe that that's based on the people. That has to be based on the people because I I know somebody as well. They were together when they were teenagers. You know what I mean? They ended up growing up and getting married, and then she was just like, "All right, I ain't never been in these streets," you know. And I'm like, "But you got children and um a whole life with a picket fence. What a you doing? Right. Children, a whole life and a dog. Like right. what you doing? Right. You, and you got a life, life." You know what I mean? He's working hard, two gigs, like, mm-hmm. and it's and it's good. You know what I mean? And well, no. And then you know, the whoring began. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But to me, I don't know. It takes a special kind of person. Like I look at my I look at my kids. Amen. Hallelujah. I look at mine. Mm-hmm. And Tiffany's just never been and didn't need to be in the streets. It just wasn't her thing. That's not how I didn't raise her to be that kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I I didn't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't raise her to be that. So. You know, when she started dating a girlfriend and boyfriend at 15, mm-hmm. you know, and now she's 31 and been married for eight years to her husband, who was her first boyfriend. I didn't make her need that street life. Mm-hmm. She didn't need that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, she didn't drink. She still really don't drink. Mm-hmm. She's like, well, what should I have? One of them. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't know, make it something cute with Frozen. I don't know. Like, you know, so, so, you know, I think you have to be built for that. I don't really know. Um, um. So, yeah, I don't want to base it on, like, it eventually comes down to I'm about to dip because right. that's not always, no. you know, that's, I mean, I, I know it's not always true. I know my parents were married when they were, my mother was, like, 22. She like, 74. Right. Now, I'm not saying that nobody has ever, they haven't had their issues, you know what I mean? But 
she's also the one that said, you know, y'all always give up too fast. Just stick mm-hmm. shit out, mm-hmm. work it out, mm-hmm. figure it out, say, and keep it moving. It. This isn't there well, then that yeah. helps keep it stale. You know, if you've been with somebody, you know, and it's just the same. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Like you said, they, they like, she's, is she saying, okay, I think it's a little stale? She wasn't saying that, but I mean, I can see how people dip. Because like okay, I've been I've I've known you all my life. I don't know anything else. This is boring. You're not. Well, they're not trying to. You, well, you want to try to keep it fresh, and they're not trying to keep it fresh. It's like, all right, what the hell? But yeah, with me, I don't, I don't think Aisha needs. Look at them, right, you know? I don't think Aisha needs the male attention. I mean, let's go. You know, I don't think she needs that. What does she need that for? Not to be all Joe, but her ego. You know, right? Yeah, because you know, all she gotta do is go to a game. <clears> like, you know, people looking at her, but they just ain't like, Psst, yo, ain't nobody doing that. You know what I mean? They know who she is, and they're just not—they're just not crossing it. Like nobody right. probably crossed Vanessa Colby's wife. Right. Nobody crossing that. I was just about to say. I think that she has to get in her might. mind that you're, you that's they, not you. <laughs> For help with help with Colby, I think well, they might. Well, look, Michelle Obama. Nobody's trying to holler at mm. Michelle. Oh, well, certain women. It's the way you like, carry yourself. I was just about to say she has a head that mindset that you're not a sex symbol, and you don't need to be a sex symbol. Right. You are that's a, bit a different know. type of <laughs> oh, person that people look at you a different way. So right. take that and be happy with that. The fact that you had you garner that type of respect that people aren't going to come at you. You know, again, you as soon as somebody say, "Oh yeah," you know what? You're right. You do have a fat ass. Like now, you're going to be upset. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> she always goes like, to the <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. Like guys Damn. will say so. like. It's great guys are talking just, to you like that. No, because you know I, mean? I don't have one. <laughs> no, when you, when you speak, though, you're saying this is how no, guys are talking to you. No, God, I understand. In, in the Me Too era? No, I'm, I'm not saying that at all. No, I literally just had a conversation and, you know, with someone personally who was telling me a story about, you know, someone in their family who the boyfriend got into a fight because the guy was relentlessly coming at what with their daughter there and everything else yeah. come but i'm just saying she got a fat like they ended up fighting because yeah. that's I'm how saying, hard he stop was stop denying that look at it look at it <laughs> you gotta use the proper terms now i know Hideous maximum right <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> just just so I know. But with ball players, it's different. <laughs> you know what I mean? With, with, with people in the spotlight like that, like the Allen mm-hmm. Iversons and the Kobe Bryants the and the LeBron James, you think LeBron's right. wife is probably going through that? She probably don't get. She don't care, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you know LeBron's getting the calls and the DMs. <laughs> you oh, know shit. the Instagram is yeah. piss up it. Okay. Absolutely. Leor, that's to be expected. Yeah, right. and he can say my NBA. That's to be expected. And he right. can say what he wants online. I wouldn't be here without my wife. Without my wife's input, this wouldn't be the same. Without my wife, that he can say it well, all the time. But they well, still come. Who was that? Who they just had the whole thing with this person being in his DM and accidentally um was in his wife's DM. <gasps> oh, that? the new uh, Phillies player. Um, right. Chase so uh, yeah. So apparently, yeah, this chick player. was. Oh, you know, well, maybe he might have made a comment. She was like, oh, well, I could keep you satisfied and sent the picture and all of this. But ended up putting it in the wife's DM instead of his DM. So, yes, they are relentless. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) How are you going to get in my closet? And she Ooh. got drugged because, like, Girl, if you are careless, if you right. don't be that careless. I mean, they come in for somebody else. Don't be that careless, y'all. Don't be careless. careless. Does that, oh is it God. different if your wife, I guess, for intents and purposes, is a regular person? Like, some celebrities are married to other celebrities. Right, right. right. So then, in some cases, your wife could be more. She's going to she's get the same rah rah as you do. So mm-hmm. then she gets that, too, right? Yeah, yeah. If they're, yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying to think like, uh, yeah, like, 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 like Gabrielle and right. Right. They're both probably getting Does all she that. she get so. that? I feel like she probably oh, gets that. Oh, more she, than ab- yeah. yeah, I believe yeah. she gets it too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. And that's why I said, you know, yeah, it definitely depends on the people. If just two celebrities, they're both getting it. It's mm-hmm. trust, period. Right. It really is. It's nothing else. It's nothing more, nothing less. A like Cardi mm-hmm. getting it, right? Oh, Even oh. though she married, Cardi's definitely getting. It. But she she's absolutely getting it with all the drama <laughs> that that boy done been putting her through already. She's right. totally getting it. You know what all I mean? Women been the drama, you know, because they're like, you know, get out with you, but theirs is early. Was just like Tri- just like Tristan and Chloe, and they ain't married. Oh, 
I believe nah. it. You think I so? Think so? Who? Beyonce? Say when, when supposedly when Jay Z was cheating on her, was Beyonce getting the DMs? That's true. People scared of her. No? No. No. I mean, I think that she gets flirtatious things all the time because everybody, well, I won't say everybody, but, you know, there are people who just don't care. Die for her. Yes, you know, sir. and what she say is God and platinum and golden yeah, and silver and everything. Beyonce. So I wouldn't doubt that her, uh, her, uh, you know, and again, I don't think that she personally does her Instagram like a Will Smith. Right. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith is touching his phone and doing it. Now somebody's editing it and hooking it up. Don't get me wrong. But you'll, you'll see there's times where he's literally doing it. Beyonce's not doing it because she, she doesn't follow anybody. So she's absolutely not doing it. But, um... Uh, I think that she gets them. Yeah, I think that she gets them. I think that she gets them regardless, just because you know whether it's oh my god that outfit I love you in that outfit. Oh my god, ever since you had the kids, your hips are bigger. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh, you look like a grown woman now compared to back in the day. Like all that. I mean, I definitely believe that. I definitely believe that she. Gets you know, you know what it is. I believe that she gets. So I have them. another another question. People. Yeah. <laughs> so, say for regular people, right? You you marry either you marry or you in, I guess, a serious relationship for long term. Do you think it's weird, like say from a woman's perspective, if I'm a woman, and it's basically all selfies on my page, and no pictures of like me and my significant other, or when it's my celebrity crush's birthday or something, I'm Idris, happy birthday. <laughs> but I never go on my social media and wish my actual partner happy birthday. Like, what do you what y'all think about that? Is well, that that's different? Am I still seeking attention? No. Am I still kind of in the now? Or is I'm her self? Somebody? She just you know all this and doing all a lot this of that. And... Yeah. But it's like I'm married, and and some of these people I know people really personally like I know, like I know people like that. The wife. Or is that still like I'm kind of still I'm still seeking behavior. I mean, Are you seeking attention? attention. Probably some of it. Some of it. I would say some of it. I'm saying something you're sure about, though. Right. Like, you say mine. I don't. I don't know the status. Of I mean, my thing but. is well, because it's almost been a year. It'll be a year in like two weeks. So, but my thing is with me though. Uh, I, I I guess it's different since I do it because I feel like I have to. I don't do it because. I want somebody to see this and see how many likes I'm gonna get. Oh my god, am I gonna get twenty? Am I gonna get three hundred? Oh my god, like I don't. I don't do it like that. Um. I'll do it because, especially if I posted something like in Atlantic City this weekend about to hit this stage for Christopher Williams. Hope y'all come out, boom, boom, boom. But then I'm going to show you the pictures of what I had on and how my makeup looked and how, you know what I mean? Like, and then I took a hot tub thing. So, I'm, like, I'm doing it just because I'm doing it. It's, to me, it's to, it feels like it's almost expected at this point. I think you know the attention people because they'll say stuff like, oh, I'm by myself again. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at me sitting watching TV alone. Like they right. say little stuff that make oh well, I don't feel pretty today. Oh, you looking good, girl. What are you talking about? Oh, you beautiful. You know, like mm -hmm. this this triggers and make people come and say stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Versus like she said, she's at a show. Like hey, look at me. I, you know, he, like giving me the rundown at the show. Here's my hair. Here's my clothes. Look at me. One thing her example so think, is different because she's she's in entertainment. Right, but, but I'm I saying think that what they're saying is right. they they seek attention. They say certain things and make people say, "Oh, now you're beautiful." Oh, if I was with you, I, I would. You wouldn't be alone. They they will say something right. right now. But is that disrespectful to your person you with? So, in is my he, opinion, I he, think that in general, like if he first of all, not everybody wants everything on social right. media. That's what I was curious right. So it. if right. I'm if me and my partner had the understanding like our business is our business, you know, if again, if I want to take selfies, if it's not something where again my breasts are completely out and I'm obviously <laughs> trying to, you know, right. <laughs> send, you know, <laughs> sex pictures and whatnot like that. Right. Like I feel like what's the issue? Now if you have a conversation. If guys are saying stuff and you're entertaining it, that's a little different. Like now you're you are going into that realm of being disrespectful to your mate. But I feel like I don't have to tell you I have a boyfriend. That's like even for me, my kids. When I feel like putting my kids on social media, I put my kids on social media. If I don't feel like it, I don't care what day it is. If it's Mother's Day, if it's their birthdays, if I don't feel like doing it, I'm not doing it because it's not none of anybody's business. 
What's the reason for that? For what? Be not the one to be private. Yes, because I feel like most people put because all their my, business on there. But that's my thing. I have, but those not are the people that are that. attention seeking. I don't feel like, or like Roxy said, there's some people like are strategic. Like for me, I have my own business and I have an image, right? So when I post things, it's strategically. It's not because I'm looking for people to give me feedback. I don't need that. I have friends in real life that if I need to have a conversation about something, if I'm having a bad day, like like Rima said, the stuff that people post up there, you feeling down today, you might be feeling lonely. Call your friend. Like Facebook is not your homie. <laughs> it's not. But Call some people, your homie. But some people, you know, um, look at it differently. Like I know um, I get yelled at a time or two from somebody um, because I do take my free, my bleh, I do take lately my Facebook friends seriously. You know what I mean? So uh, no, I don't know all 5,000 of them. I don't know <laughs> at all. I probably know a good 150 maybe. I don't know. But I take them seriously. You know what I mean? I just do. You know, I, if I see them on the street and they stop and then, you know, I'm, I, you know, we're having a hug. We're having a conversation. It just is what it is. I had somebody, no lie. Uh, I was on my house phone with my friend and my cell phone rang. This was probably like Thursday. My cell phone rang and I'm like, all right, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to get it. So I'm like, hello. And they were like, hey, Roxy, how are you? Happy Mother's Day. I was like, thank you. Who's calling? <laughs> you know, and he were like, it's such and such. And I was like. Oh, okay. I was like, I do have a question. I was like, I was like and, and my number was where? You know, oh, it's on your Facebook page. I never really looked, but I went into your about section and just looked. And I was like, oh, and I was just telling my friend how this happened in the past. And I got yelled at about it. And I took my phone number off of it. And you got yelled at? By somebody else, by okay. a friend of mine, like get your concern. Yeah, uh, okay. you know, a, a, a female in the industry that's like, I need you to stop doing that. All right, you gotta clarify. To... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a female in the industry that's like, look, fall back, this that, get you know those kind of things. So I had him on hold, and he's listening. So I, you know, I was like, thank you so much, but you know, but uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean any disrespect. And I had him on speaker, and I was like, it's not a problem, it's not disrespect. It was right there, and I get it. And I was like, and I appreciate it so much. I love you to death. If you ever need to reach out to me for whatever reason, there's a 917 number. I'd prefer you to use that if you don't mind. You know? And I hung up and he was like, yo, you just told me. I was like, I know. Oh, my God. I just <laughs> because I really thought I did it. But um, I, take, I take them a little right. seriously than that. So if I put something, you know, really not feeling it today, you know what I mean? Sorry. Because I'm a poster. So if it's irregular, then, okay, something's wrong with her. And that's what I get. I'll get a DM. Yo, you okay? Because I'm not, that won't be regular. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You didn't put your prayer post today. Is everything all right? I get that. So, you know, I mean, I, I feel like it's but a, see, it's I a little like bit different. I feel like for you, like Khan said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different because your image is to speak to the people. And right? now we like have social media of, and you have to right, be a part of part it no matter of your if you brand. want to or not. Because but I feel like me, I wouldn't want to do it. Jane at work in the hospital <laughs> down the street. Like, Jane, we don't care. Like, right. we're not, no. Well, no, not that, you, not that you care. <laughs> not but like that. The question but I'm asking is, say Jane, I, I mean, I've had this conversation with people before because it's, it's weird to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you're actually with somebody. Maybe you've been with them for five years. And this person is like a mystery. But to me, kind of like the attention that you kind of, it seems that you seek on social media, or like I'm saying, it seems that you go out your way to acknowledge strangers, mm. essentially to you, like whoever your crush is uh, and things like that, right? Thing. I said, even me, like, I've been Not that you got to put pictures in it, but, but it's like- He doesn't want to be involved because be involved. there's plenty of people who, you know what I mean? I'm good. I know people who are in relationships that are like, no, that's the case. I don't want it on social media yeah, that's the case. I don't right. want to be put on social media. Nothing about me. I went on social all media. Are people so right. miserable? Like, oh, they broke up. Y'all yeah, talking about you. So you don't even want to put anything out there. You just want to keep it to yourself. If things are going great, you want to go great. So it's protected. If it, yeah, yes. if it doesn't go great, nobody knows about it. Sure. That's what Beyonce and Jay-Z did for how long before they finally, like, so all right, y'all. The jig is up. I didn't follow them like that. <laughs> no, and I but, mean, just... The in music, general. just in general, right. not because I definitely, like, I still Everybody don't follow them. <laughs> right. Initially, it was, you guessed that they were together. We didn't guess. We knew that. You guessed that they were together. You assumed that they were together. What, in Crazy in Love? 
even before that. that. Like there, it was years before it was like they admitted this is what See, it is. They oh, never so really. Her like if you're a Jay Z fan and you listen to the lyrics, you would have known. Well, yeah, yeah, you can hear from yeah. right yeah. his lyrics. So but and, saying, what I'm saying is there. that they did not. They made the decision to put it out there when they want. Like I'm, yeah. when I say yeah. I, you have to guess at it, it means that you like. Uh uh-uh, uh, he's talking about Beyonce. Uh, no, when they were ready to say it's us, they said it's us. Mm-hmm. So to me, that's what I appreciate about certain celebrities. Them, um, Will Smith and Jada Smith. Um, of social media. There's, a, but I'm not that's talking about just part. social media. I mean, in no, I'm general, saying that plays though, a big part, though. Right, it, it, was, does, it was easier to keep they, things quiet. Yeah. In 2002. But even with social media, you can't keep it quiet. It You're choosing to yeah. put it up there. Like you say, people are choosing yeah. to or not I to put it up there. Uh, what's his name? Mm-hmm. Back then. That would have been everywhere now. Who? I said, I never knew back then that he was with Rosario Dawson. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, no. Who? I shut up. Oh, oh, okay. Right, okay. They're supposed to have a baby. But that's what I'm saying. If you listen to the lyrics, you would know this kind of stuff. You ain't know, you ain't really know who he was talking about. Who he's about. talking about? Right, right. That's you, about to say. But then right. when you would see certain pictures of them, but back then you had to actually see pictures. Right, right, right. Maybe right. In a you had to wait for. Yeah, right. it wasn't like social media. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you had to wait for the yeah, magazine. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Read the article. <laughs> while we're doing all, all, all on that, let's talk about uh, with the insecurity and, and or, or self assurance. Talk about social media. How how do you feel like social media affects? Look at me. Oh, self assurance. Uh, well, it, it affects uh, your insecurities, self assurance, relationships, things mm-hmm. like that. Because I know plenty of people are, you know, are like. Uh, I think it's a big deal. Facebook, you know, it's Facebook so broke up my relationship, so and I believe that Facebook clearly did not break well, more up than the relationship. <laughs> I feel like more than just just the relationship part. I feel like the comparison of everything. Lost. It is. I feel like it makes people depressed. Yeah. Because they're busy comparing what they're doing with somebody else. Depressed. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous how much weight people put Oh, my on kids it. on honor roll. Oh, look today I got a promotion. Oh, we vacation. Oh, we doing this with me while you at home watching Netflix. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so why it's not doing real. All, why <laughs> they doing all this stuff? I'm just sitting with No, we've seen. Oh, 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 oh. No, we've seen the videos. Do y'all remember the one with the guy that was like, "Yeah, I'm in my nice shower." Y'all see this? Y'all see this? And the guy, it's like Home Depot guy come walking up like, dude, what are you doing? Yo, you messing up my shot. Like, oh, yeah. no, it's not all real. <laughs> like, people will, what was it, Bow Wow, right? Got caught yeah, yeah. <laughs> faking a fall. Like, 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 that. <laughs> yes, yeah. like, people out here doing it for the gram, yeah, like, yeah, in right. real life. <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? So, I mean, it does, even though it says, I mean, sometimes I remember, like, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm not a horrible mom. I'll be like, I'm not doing all of this. Like, they had this. He's just just my up there. When right? you sleep, you over here. You in Texas this day. Now you in Detroit the next day. Then your kids are over here. The, when are you? What? What? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, wait a minute. I'm not doing all of that. Am I doing something wrong? Right. Like, wait a minute. Am I not doing it? This hurts my children. <laughs> <laughs> and oh my not going over the world. And. Doing you, know Nobel Prize. Prize. you know what Instagram is like to me? I, I like I'm just saying. If you think about when you, to me, when you're like a child, right? I'm sorry. To me, on a basic level, Instagram is like when you were a child and your reward was like stickers mm-hmm. and things. Because basically, I feel like when you first learn to read and things like that, you learn through pictures. Right. So to me, that's kind of what Instagram is. I tell the story of my life through pictures, mm-hmm. and if you agree or you disagree, I can tell by the stickers that you place on my page. Right. So like if I'm a woman and I put the thirst picture, I guess you send me the eggplant, and that's a good sticker. Maybe for me. <laughs> if you, you know, if I do other certain things, you send me the one with the hard eyes and whatever. Right, it's it's right, so many. Right. And to me, true. all of them stickers have Great a value job. to them. So, <laughs> right. the same way when I was a child. <laughs> Right. And I feel like it's a lot of adults I basically never living that, that up. Way. But even but that is insecurity. Like Always it. posting, and then you feel some kind of way. Oh, I only had two likes. Ooh. I want likes, then. <laughs> <it>. Why? <laughs> Why did I get this like? This is fire. And you want two likes, you're like, oh, maybe I'm not fire. I'm got two likes. <laughs> But you got to post at the right time of day. See, it's a science. It is a science. It there is a whole, a like, whole right, thing. All that it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It is a whole situation because I Googled it and was like, what's the best time to post on Instagram? One time, and, you know, I'm going to make it up because I can't remember. Like but one was like, you know, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. is the such. And I was like, what? Yeah, it was algorithms, yeah. Are you serious? 
what are we talking about? Like, because it's literally when you think about, it, I think one of the times, like, say from seven to like ten o'clock in the morning, right? Because people are rolling over after the alarm clock goes off and staring at their phone <laughs> and scrolling. Then you might be on your way to work. You scrolling. Then you at lunch scrolling. So now that's twelve o'clock scrolling. Now you just ate dinner. You on a couch watching TV scrolling. That's how they figure out the algorithm. These are the times where people so dependent oh, on yeah. the part of the country you're in and I things like that. That's post. when the times change. I post some real information. I get one person to comment, but then when I post a picture, <laughs> I, all my followers yes, like this. I noticed that I know too. Just, I know you just saw this article. Like, people don't like words. You gotta build That's part of the man. algorithm too. People don't like words. If like again for my business, I'll try to post something that is like informational. And I'll try to promote it. It'll be like, eh, too many words. Can't promote this. They'll like literally say, you cannot promote this because it has too many words. Wow. It has to be a picture. And then you can have your taglines and all of that. That's but weird, the know. picture, oh, the no click, words. Clickbait. We call it clickbait. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. That is way too much work. Because you look at the article say too many What y'all got us out here don't go over any of this foolishness? I should have never jumped on they Facebook and Instagram. They talking about hiding the likes now. You heard about that? Yes. People like to snap. <laughs> what? They like to lose they was, their they, minds. They created, uh, I guess you want to call it an algorithm, but they created something now where only you can see the likes that you have. Well, the crazy thing Not is, is that that would help the self-esteem issues. It would. And yeah, the exactly. people that are going through They did an experiment. Going through. Yeah. Right. That will help that out. So I wouldn't mind. Hide the likes. Right. Hide right. them. Right. Because yeah. that's, again, you know, but people want right. other people to know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Rima got 20 likes on her picture. Let me see how many likes on the like. Wait, I only, only got selfies. 10. Because hmm? people, they post selfies all day I ain't stopping my selfies. Listen, I want to see you. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. Click. Oh, I'm about to get in the car. Click. Oh, I got my hair done. Click. Oh, look at me eating a burger. Click. I don't want to see you the whole entire day. I just see like, oh, look at my hair. That's okay. Right, right, right. Me and the kids are supposed to go on vacation. Okay. Right, right. I don't need to. See. I got out the car. <laughs> but you know, I think that dies down eventually because no. I used to be like that. I used to do that all the time. Said, no. no. I did. I would have a drink and be like, click. I would have my food and be like, and I would, you know, I mean, like, is it validated? In I your would. Mind? I, it would be all cute and pretty. Yeah, and I would be yeah, like, I mean, that's the business. business like, right. No, not even business. Just say you say you rock something. Say you do. Yeah. If you build up enough of that, where it's like you. Yeah, if I'm yeah, money for it, that's, that, that is a business. They have blogs. That's yeah. how bloggers make money. Yeah. Because yeah. now you have people coming to YouTubers and all of them people. Yeah. That's how they get their money. They get a certain number. Yeah, you get a certain number. But is it is it foolish though? If if we know that they're not getting paid. I think oh, yeah. like if it's a random waste, person and you go, oh, look at this goofy. You wasting yeah. your, 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 your memory on your phone. Right, but my, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shout out to iPhone. We need more memory for free. Okay? Team Joy, I don't need no memory. Gee, Joys don't go through that. Anyway, um, but I think that, I, I think what, our, what the problem is to me is that you don't know what people are striving for. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this person could be taking a lot of selfies or posting a lot of videos or whatever, but maybe they're striving to to be that blogger, to mm -hmm. be that person that once I hit a million, I can start getting a check from YouTube. Right. But so many people are throwing daggers at it, like this dumb dumb. What they do? You know, like I got like I seen on my timeline the other day, maybe two three weeks ago, some guy, and he posted, um, everybody doesn't need a podcast or something like that. So, you know, a whole bunch of people, you know, liked it. A bunch of people commented. I didn't read the comments because I usually don't read his comments. Um, uh, but it was just like, why? Because you don't have one or because you want one? Because you're light skinned. So a lot of people will watch your blog. Sorry, but it's real. So, you know, um, you know. Let's get it, you know, you hang in that click. Because some people are clicks and clicks, and he's in that click. So people, know, yeah. that those clicks I will watch. I probably even know who you're talking yeah, about. <laughs> those, those clicks will support that podcast. Uh -huh, just so because, why like, don't you, why would you say to whomever it was posted for online? Right, I don't right. know who it was. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who cares? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just like we're, we are always shooting somebody else's stuff down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So who said that? Whoever he's talking about, maybe they want to check. Maybe that right. that's how they want to do it. Maybe they feel like they have a, a, a in front of the camera presence. Mm -hmm. and, and they're like, you know what? This could be my shot. 
So what if it's not fortune? Let me try it. But we don't know. No, I'm just I asking. Think you do. Then how do you perceive that? Then you then do you say it's, it's, it's like goofy. you try to be a model. <laughs> <laughs> you try to be a model. Like if it's people not for a check, you go, yo, you goofy. If it's too if it's much, dumb if stuff, it's like too I said, much, right? if you're not trying to blog or you try, if you're not trying to say, hey, follow me, I'm going to see restaurants. Follow me so you can see where I'm going next. Okay, so I expect you to pose food because that's what you're going to do. Yeah. If you're a model, oh, you know, you're posing, look at this outfit. Okay, because right. you're a model, so you're trying to get your followers up so somebody can see you. You hashtag it on the people. That makes sense. But if you're just like, hey, click, just got the shower, click, <laughs> and just comb my hair, click. I'm going to do that tonight. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide behind the shower. You know when someone's being perfect like, <laughs> to right. get followers for a particular person. You know when they're trying to do it that way, just... I see me. They, you have a lot of people that's narcissistic, and that's unfortunately we are a narcissistic society. Mm-hmm. And yeah, see me, there. they just see mm-hmm. me, see me, see me all day. See me. I don't want to see you all day. Mm-hmm. Turn your phone off. Like, don't you have something? Else to Somebody see? wants to see these people. Though. Somebody, and that's why they keep clicking. See me in the bathroom. She right. reached out because somebody's liking it. So now they, they take the likes away. Then they the back of their mind. I, like it. Well, I want them to do that. I, I want them to, because I'm so cool. eager to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Once they do that, like, are people going to stop posting as much? Like, I'm really eager to see right. that change. And the, is this a little to well, they say right you now. can see. This, the thing is, they say only you can see. Your but that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like I feel like people want to see want other people to. Because my thing is that you know how many likes you have but no you want everybody else to be able to look and see how many likes you have i think that it'll make a difference people are like i think it'll make a big difference difference. (laughs) (laughs) nobody's gonna like it anyway like i don't know like i just feel like nobody's gonna see everybody else your own likes is you still seeing it? It's not like no likes at all. You're right. still seeing people liking your posts. Okay, I'm gonna keep posting because they liked it. Right, but mm-hmm. I think yeah, I'm not. See, I wouldn't worry about that. I guess my thing is, is that since I couldn't see mine, and I I can see mine, but I can't see yours, and I can't see yours, and I can't see yours, which makes will make me not want to compare myself to you anymore. Right. Right. That would be the that only that that that's why I think it's a good thing because there are okay. a lot of people that, like you said earlier, right. that are like that. You know Especially what I mean? Like, people. why she yes. take a picture? And, and you know, we got the same outfit on, just making it up. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I heard it's got 125 likes and I only got two. Like, right. it'll stop that. Right. right. I think you know? for young people, too, they, just, they, they need so yeah. much into, I don't have enough followers. Well, like, like people are literally dying. Mm-hmm. Having, like, you're killing yourself over likes. People are trying to get the shot and are dying because you want to get likes like it's the most and obscene i think like, i can't follow even. Up. I get my <laughs> but the thing is too depending again and I, and I you know and i know we're talking uh in reference to the industry depending on what you want to do mm-hmm. it's also what you're being told and yeah. i you know uh i had reached out to a publicist i say two years ago and um uh you know, I told her to follow me, you know, so she could check some things right. out or whatever. And the first thing that she came out of her mouth and said, well, I'm going to need you to get your Twitter followers up. I'm going to need you to get this. I need you to at least get them to, you know, like 15,000. And I was like, well, what you talking about? Like, and I read that in order for somebody to constantly, to constantly, you have to post Populate. at least 48 mm-hmm. times a day. Yes. You got to type, you got to post 48 yes. times a day on each thing for people to see. You know, like especially tweeting and Facebook, mm-hmm. you gotta post forty-eight times a day. So then that makes you either now with certain apps on your phone, you can set it to post right, something. Right. You know what I mean? Which is so like you're not the, sitting there yeah. literally forty-eight times right. a day trying or to. Or you can hire right. a teenager. All right. To give give the codes to your phone. You know what I mean? They can post it from their phone or however you want them to do it. Give them a little dumb dumb phone and take all these pictures. However, but it was ridiculous, and I really couldn't believe that she was. I was like, okay, so. In order for me to build up my radio show and build up the things I want to do next, the first thing out of your mouth is I gotta get my followers up. That's, that's it wasn't now. it wasn't so lose weight. It. <laughs> it wasn't lose weight, you know what right, I mean? Right. Uh do this, change these outfits, get right. this it had nothing to do. Look at the rappers and the actresses now. It had nothing to do with none of that. Who's your followers? Like before, you know, you had to have a skill, okay, we heard you at the mic or whatever. You good now? It's like because it's all about the money. Okay, you only have ten followers. No, I can't hire you. Yeah. Oh, you got fifteen thousand followers. Okay, we're gonna sign you on a record deal. Yeah. Because it's different. And, and it be trash. You know, like you don't sound like anything, but because you have all these people following you, right? Their business. Ex- I was about to say, 
It's business. It transfers it's the money. dollar signs. Right. Them. Exactly. Yeah, followers are now dollar signs. Yeah, and it's the same thing with, uh, I know I have a uh, celebrity makeup artist friend, and he had posted a while ago his original comp card from back in the day. day. Oh, wow. <laughs> he had posted his original comp card. It was so old. You should have seen it. It was, it was crazy. And he posted, and he said something like, um, uh, when you had to have, he's like, this is an original comp card. And he posted something sim something like when, you, when, you, when, when it was all about your talent. Mm -hmm. When it was all about your talent. And your talent got you the job. Hmm. You know what hmm. I mean? You know, it, it wasn't about anything else. Right. You know, and he was self-taught. You hmm. know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. His story's great. But, you know, now it's just like, if your YouTube channel's popping, you ain't got to have a damn dupe dot right. bit of talent. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and... Exactly. Um, Can you entertain? Are you entertaining people? Are people right. watching you? And it's and it's sad for our children to have to follow that. Because remember, there's been like the girls or just different people who had received their 15 minutes of fame off of speaking, saying something stupid and ignorant. Cash me outside. Now, that one. That's the one I was thinking about. She's actually talented though. <laughs> Is she talented? You know what? As what? A rapper. Sure. Is she? I want something. I never heard of she can, she can't Bad Bobby, she's selling out stadiums. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, real shit. Look again, her up. Like, wait, she, she really can rap. I mean, she's to me, she's she selling out stadiums no, listen, or she can she, she rap? Said, she, no. like a, she, <laughs> like a white, she like a white Cardi B. Shut up. No. I feel like somebody's writing the raps for her. Oh, right no. And she got the image. Okay. Right. Yeah. But what I'm telling you but is. But it was based you, off. But that's my point. You look her up. Based off of. She's like a top. Rap artists. Right. Yeah. But again, my point is that it started with something stupid and mm -hmm. ignorant. And it was like, okay, you got your 15 She's minutes. Rubbable. Now let's write. And, I, and I would here. love to know who was watching Dr. Phil and was like, I can make her a star. <laughs> like, I mean, no, I would, but happens to sound bites. Like somebody get a clip. Yeah, somebody took so that dumb. Cash Me Outside and did a remix. With a yeah. remix. Now that's, that's you sharing it. And now she needs money off that because she's sharing it. Right. Now here we go. Well, this is, I think this stadiums. is the thing. And I'll give an industry so you can maybe speak to this. There used to be a time where I booked you for your talent. But then basically there was like artist development. Mm -hmm. And we had to put money into you and do things. And then we had to figure out who the target audience was mm -hmm. once we put you up. So now with social media, I could basically look and say... You already got an audience of 2 million people. Right, yeah. And if you built this on your own, right. and now we just come in and put some money into this, yeah. who knows where this can go? And right. they're not putting so, as much money into yeah, it because yeah. they don't have to. Because right. you, you, you already got, you already, you already built it up on your own. Yeah. So it's like, I talked about that on that sense. panel that day. Right. I was right. like, right. there's right. no such thing as artist development anymore. Mm -hmm. Especially, you know, now, like you said, with the, the social media, and then these labels don't want to develop you. They don't even mm -hmm. have that kind of time right. because they can scroll through and find somebody mm -hmm. that they can, you know what I mean? That they can, cool. yeah, they, they can say, look, I can make you a star. Cut your hair, change this dress like that, dress like this. Put two and tattoos here. Look. <laughs> Put two tattoos here. <laughs> ah, 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 and one on your hand so we can right. grab the mic they see. Yeah, right? You know, so it, it's, it's completely different. It's not... And unfortunately, it's, 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 I don't even want to say it's not about talent. It's a gift and a curse, indeed. though. It's just yeah, indeed. it is. It's a gift and a curse. Because it's good in a lot of ways for people. Yeah, Because it, it cuts right. a lot of the, mm -hmm. the red tape. It's not so much of a struggle right. the way that it yeah. used to be. But then it allows, too, for all of the buffoonery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the crap. Yeah, and, and, it, and with, 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 with rapping, women is a little bit different to me. But with guys, there's so many of them. It's like, where's the talented ones? Mm -hmm. It's just, you, you, gotta just look, you gotta look hard. You just mumbling it together. And well, the kids, all, I mean, and everything. Kids the grab on that. Kid, I mean, right. well, Eventually. I mean, because I look at, I, I, I look at Migos. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess the song is just, I'm like, stir fry, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Like, I can't, I, I just can't It'd understand. A lot of times the beat that gets but you. But people, is. you know, you had adults walking around. You know what I mean? The thing with, the thing with, uh, uh, you had adults walking around, and I'm like, <laughs> that's like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> a song came on, it's like chopsticks. I looked at my son, I was like, you heard this song before? Chopsticks, chopsticks, chopsticks. Really? <laughs> the whole song is chopsticks. Well, you know what? You that's remember? What we're doing now? You remember uh, the rapper designer? 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, and, right? mm -hmm. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened to him? Where did he go? They got their money and that was it. Listen. He was hopping all over the he stage. Was on, he was on the breakfast club. He was on the breakfast club. I don't think he really had ADHD. Because I've heard him talk very straight and focused, right? Mm. And he said something very interesting. He said that the average person, if you take the average person in the United States, the reading level is like a sixth grade level, Less right? Mm -hmm. And most people are taught to like read through song. So in the, and he said in the music industry, if you enunciate vowels, and he made a point that all the hit songs, if you notice, they drag certain vowels out. And then he said, once people identify with a melody, mm -hmm. basically he said, this is the formula for making a hit song. Mm -hmm. So when we hear a lot of these ABC and dumb songs, he said, basically, it's kind of like there used to be a time for us where I feel like maybe our education system was different. A lot of things was different. So rapidly rap was getting through, but his rapidly rap doesn't get through the same way as like you say. Something that that does stir for, and it's more like the melody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas for us, Big Daddy Kane and all these people, right, we wanted lyrics. They was right. rapping, right? We wanted lyrics. So in most right. cases, you gotta really be listening and be like, oh, right, uh, uh, right. it's not that easy to catch. And then they metaphors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Because everything else automated. You push this button, doors open for you. You don't have right. to look up an encyclopedia. Kids, you tell them go to Brit Brit Britannica. What is that? Right. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Go Google it. Taking this in, a, in a, I guess, a step further, I feel like Donald Trump figured that out for politically. Like, I watched a lot of his old interviews, like back in the day, and he really used to talk and explain a lot of stuff, like in detail, mm -hmm. financially, and a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, everything with him is like, is basically, it's like catchphrases, right? Make it's America huge, great. Huge. Do this. It's going to be huge. He basically figured out, yo, I'm, if I'm doing all this talking, I could just say certain. Things, keywords, keywords key that phrases. people gonna hold mm -hmm. on to. Why would I waste a whole bunch of sentences and I could just get this accomplished saying certain things? Right. And people will say he's dumb, and I'm kind of like he's definitely not dumb. Right. Cause I'm like if you really see how he does it, it's, it's very strategic. It's not he's not. People think is he's really dumb. Like no, he's really look at his education. No, I think he's he says dumb huge. As president, but I don't think he's dumb. Right. No, he's not dumb. Cause I'm like yeah, you, you can't yeah, yeah. be yeah. rich that long and be dumb. But it, but the people they'll say the way he speaks, and they'll say look at his vocabulary, and it's like he just basically figured out that the majority of America is stupid. Right. <laughs> so much. So it's like why talk above your head? Why talk right, all this right, fancy right, stuff right. when I could just talk regular? Well, and I feel like rap is like that too. It's like all right, I'll, it's rapidly rappers J Cole. What? <laughs> No, the cold mom's daughter. You want me to say the cold mom's daughter? <laughs> That's what his his uh. I'm not even talking about none of them people. <laughs> none of them people. But you know, I get it. I get it. I get. I, I get it. I guess. Like yes. I mean, it's it's a good thing and a bad thing, too, because then you have social media now. You said cut that middle man out. I can just put out my own information the way I want to put it out. I don't have to cut you know baby you know spoon feed you. Right. If right. I want to give you the raw raw. I can put it out there, either you like or you don't. But then back in the day, you know, with artists, artists in general, don't say that because nobody's going to like you, not going to make a lot of money, so you got to, you know, keep it, keep it here. And I think that's how social media plays into everything when it comes to insecurities and how people view you and everything else, is that it's you kind of have your test dummies by using social media. That's how people mar do marketing now. Like if I do a couple of posts of this one thing and I'm not really getting any play, I'm not really getting any likes, then maybe I'm going to pull that back and wait on that, especially as an artist. Mm -hmm. I can put it out there, but if you're not really feeling it, I'm not saying I might need to take that back and work on it a little more. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think that no matter what, it can, again, social media is like one of those things where it has its goods and its bads. It's a matter of how you choose to utilize it. Yeah. But even like regular people, like not even the industry, just regular people in general. Like, that's, like I said earlier, like I'm looking at all the people and I'm like, I'm a mom. These, these are moms. And I'm like, um, not doing all that. See, I only get like that when I see all these people post and I'm like, damn, they honor all students and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just think 
much honor roll. They just they English. Got, they, no, they got accepted to go to these summer tours and college stuff. Mm-hmm. And mine just don't want to do it. I don't <laughs> care. Like, I'll be like, yeah, how was your day? Yeah, all right. Same as it was yesterday. <laughs> you know, and then I'm okay. like, well, dang. And, and my, you know, like, what is the grades? Like, you know, that's what, that's what sometimes it makes me like, damn, I must be a whack. And that's mom. But I think as women too, we are we already hard on ourselves right. anyway. We're our worst critic. Anyway, you get a little yeah. pimple. Oh my god, a pimple! I'm about to die. I'm so ugly. Uh, or oh, I gained all this weight. Or I'm not in a position at the job. We already hard on ourselves anyway. Mm-hmm. So now you have these people. Some things may be real. Some things again, just front right. for the gram or Facebook, whatever it is, and it just makes it like ten times worse. Like, right. Oh. Yeah. Mine only bothers me when it's the kids. Other than that, I really don't yeah. care. Right. You know what I mean? Because you know, you you, you know, I, like I always tease Lady B in reference to her hair because it's her real hair. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's like down to here. She always oh, wow. talking about you know, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta plan. I'm like, yo, you better throw that joint in the ponytail and stop caring. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Yes, you can. It's your real hair. <laughs> Why you always say it's okay if it's my real hair? Cause it is. And trust me, Look, it's you okay are. if it's. Well, I'm no. just like it's okay if it's your real hair, cause they gonna be like, oh, all that's hurt. It don't matter if it's up in a messy bun and you ain't curling it today. You got. <laughs> you got. You're like, yo, oh, you doing good. You got itches. You doing good. Right. It was that kind of day, y'all. And I'm just like, look, you know what I mean? But like you said, it's, it's just it's, it's it's our own. It's it's our own insecurities, and that mm-hmm. that's the only Facebook issue that I have. I'm like, damn, her kid just got I don't know, he got accepted in the drugstore already. Damn, they not mean but just too. anything, like, and, and I'll be like, like what's he gonna do? Me. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, you, you're are. not a real man if you don't have ten cars and all right. the stuff. Now you're like, what? You're not a real woman <laughs> if you don't have edges and your lips not full <laughs> and your breasts not sagging. Right. You're not a real woman if you can't pay your what? Right. And people, I mean, it's, it's dumb, a lot of just mean, like the shame. People take that for right. real. Right. Mm-hmm. But I think, I think too, even with because you were as you started saying it, I was thinking about like Sanaa Lathan and Nia Long and Angela, well, not Sanaa because she's not that old, but like Angela Bassett and, mm. and, all, and all these other people. And they're like, oh, black don't crack. And I'm saying in my head, if you lived in Hollywood, you would have had your stomach, your, your stomach tucked already. Stop playing. Right. I need you to stop playing. And, and stop and just stop and just stop <laughs> all right because right. There's, there's nobody in LA that don't that don't have the, the some sleeve work. or something right. got some, a little some, bit of light bulb when a they trainer come or something I'm sorry a lift right something right and <laughs> if you something. have the money you can get a trainer every day and your arms will look like Angela but because it's your job that's the other piece that people forget it's their job to look good to look like that it's right it's but, their but, job but so they have to I'm not talking about skin I'm not talking about skin Body wise, yeah, it may be because their image is their brand. Right. Some but, of them. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Some people don't care. But your skin and things like that. You right. know what I mean? So and I read an article. Angela Bassett, for one, she said she gets facials. I want to say at least right. once a week, if not once a month. Right. It was it was very frequently. So yeah. she yeah. takes care of her skin. Right. She has right. the money to do that. I right. have exactly. <laughs> had a little Botox here and there. Like right. it's real. It's all real. And I, you know, and, and those are the things that I'll be like. I'm over here working hard dealing with this pimple that's right here in the center <laughs> and of my head. Okay, but y'all talking about here. her black <laughs> don't crack and this pimple <laughs> right here hurt like a mess. Okay. And if I could get a facial every week, I could too. But right, right here, this pimple right here is killing me. Like, you know, I mean, I can't, right. you know, so that's, you know, but again, I think we all have some type of insecurity, big right. or small, but, um, right. you know, and I think that we all want some type of still knowing that we got it, right. you know, um, uh, right. Women, I don't know. I won't say women more, especially. But I won't say women more because I've, I've met some men that just be like, well, damn, you don't never. I mean, you I was just about to say, right, you I've had a guy say, you miss me I no need more, you to you pump up my ego. Say, what now? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. You need me to give you an ego boost? Yeah, like, well, dude, what? Boost, yeah. Like, literally, the words out of your mouth, you need me to boost your ego? Absolutely. Like, yeah, guys are insecure as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, Listen, I they, get, they get their stomach. <laughs> like, wait, no, they get wigs. They get units. His mouth like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be you, but there's something out there doing it. Oh, yeah, they got units But I know now. you feel like that. You got to feel like there's some men that's, that are insecure. You have to know plenty. <laughs> you know you're not going to throw one of the books. I didn't say name them. No, I wouldn't. I, I didn't say name them, but I Everybody mean. Everybody insecure. I know, you're right. I was going to say, I know men yeah. that are. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? Everybody and has care. an insecurity about something. I mean, I don't know men that talk like that, though. Like, but she's but yeah, she's they may not yeah. say it out loud, but yeah. they want to feel it all and, and get puffed in, they, in their head. They're getting puffed up like, oh, she said that was cute. Yeah, like if right. you with somebody and you ain't told them yeah. something in two weeks, it's, a, it's an issue. It's an mm-hmm. issue, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, like this. Like, damn, man. You don't even like, notice yeah. I got my haircut, though? <laughs> <laughs> right. You ain't somebody's new cologne? I got my out right there. You ain't somebody's new Right. I've been going to the gym for a month. You what? ain't seen this? Right. <laughs> Are you doing it for somebody? Huh? Are you doing it for somebody? Well, he no, got, I'm saying like guys. Like, I'm talking about guys. I'm talking about guys, but I would hope mm-hmm. that guys are doing it for themselves first. Right. Because mm-hmm. I always tell them. But it's still nice to be what? noticed. Like, oh, I see I see you. I see you doing you it. Right. I see it, dog. I see it. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, like you like like don't know, It's a compliment. Right. 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 I mean, I said that to some women. I don't think that's a natural male treat. I don't think co- like compliments to a woman is different. That's like men that's like, like water for y'all for the men like compliments. They, what? Right. I don't know like if the men is like it's a little high. No, no I've like had guys like I don't know how you feel. And, you don't say said it, it enough. Was odd to you, right? when, it, when the guy said it, it was odd. It wasn't a, no, a natural manly thing. For to say. that, yes, to say like yeah. I need you to that's boost I mean. my ego. If a woman yes. said that, it would just be like cool. You did compliments. But I wouldn't say that either. But no. men feel like, like no, they may not verbally say to you, you need to compliment me every two right. days. But that goes back to like. Everybody, everybody likes compliments. Right. But you know but what I'm saying? I'll that's say this though. But I think I feel for like men, it goes back to our a conversation a long time ago of you're not allowed to verbalize. You need it to be things. genuine though. <laughs> that's the only thing I can say. Right. You need to okay. I, feel like, I feel the difference is for women. Women sometimes need it whether it's true or false. It's like, just say Oh, don't tell me. Don't oh, shit. no. Don't <laughs> No. Well, tell me it's cute and it's not. No, and, and, no I'm saying no. a lot of women is basically it's like they just want to hear. It's it. kind of like I just need to hear it. I don't yeah, care if it's true. I, know, right? I went through this with my wife before because yeah. I'm not necessarily like a complimenter, right. and I'm kind of like when a compliment is warranted, right, I give it. I give it. Right. So for me, it's like if the meal is basic, I'll just be like it's a basic meal. You'll know when the meal is extra because I'm gonna be like, yo, this shit good. <laughs> <laughs> but for her, she'll be like, every once in a while, you just gotta say that the regular shit is good. Right. Uh huh. Right? Because it's like, I just need to hear it. Even though I know it's not, you know, it's, it might not be what you're saying. Right. It's good. But it, it wasn't like that big John that you had did last I don't week. Know, I don't know that <laughs> men need that, though. Like, I don't know for, if they, For I'm, women to say things that's not true. No men, I, th- I do I don't feel like I feel like men definitely needed to be genuine. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't definitely think they feel like yeah. Yeah, they can feel the difference where we might except for one the area difference. that they don't care if it's true or not. They want to believe it's true anyway. Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a whole other show. show. Next, next <laughs> sentence. Yeah. That's an outside girl's drawing. Yeah. Shoot, but no, I think I think my face. Men definitely want it genuine. Like you know, if you say, "Oh, I see you today. What you doing? Right. You know, I see that. Yeah, mm, I love baby smile too. They like, like you know. <laughs> I get it. They thank you like that. Right. You know, you just got to yeah. No, they do they it. They bashful. do it like that. Yeah, you know, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, a dude did that? A woman, not a man. Oh, oh. I thought you said a man did that. <laughs> oh. So I'm like, what? That's why he said they did that. <laughs> he had to clarify. He wanted her to clarify. Every time. It just came no. from a man. He said a man. A woman. I'm a now, uh, that's a whole nother episode. Yeah, that's that's a another, another. Yeah, they might, but, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. He was like, thank you. He was like, so he did that? He responded like that. Come on. She's like, yeah. Hey. He did just like that. That was so I sad. hear me. All I heard was that's what they do. Like, women do that? Like, oh. Oh my Real gosh. bashful. I'll, a man do that? Oh, mm mm. <laughs> Oh my god. That's another shit. Well, as we can see, there's a whole lot of insecurity <laughs> going on around the building. Now I'm just, I'm not talking about here, I'm just talking about in the world. And self assurance and, and all those kind of things. And I think that well, I feel that take my glasses off the glare. I feel that everybody needs compliments. Everybody wants compliments, whether they say they do or not. Mm-hmm. I think that it makes people feel better. You know what I mean? Even if it's, you know, oh, is that you smelling like that? Like, you know, whatever it is, just wash the ring finger. Wash the ring finger. If it blings, don't do it. <laughs> if it ain't yours, don't do it. If it's not your ring finger, don't do it. Don't do I, You know, there's plenty of times where I'll be like, damn, did he smell it? And I'll be like, oh, don't, 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 don't say nothing to him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can smell good. He can smell good, but you can't even have that. Like, just keep oh. on walking. Keep on walking. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, 
there's times where I'll, I'll, you know, I've said to strangers, like, yo, you smell good. Yo, them shoes is banging. Like, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think whether we're in relationships or not, whether it's just people we see walking down the street. Isn't that some Sesame Street face? Um, I think that compliments are warranted. <laughs> I think compliments are warranted all the time. And I do believe that it helps people uh, feel a little bit better about themselves. You know, um, a compliment can make anybody's day. You know, all you gotta do is say to somebody that's married. I mean, I don't think it's disrespectful to say, "Oh, you know, you look nice," and keep it moving. I wouldn't say it like that. Different, like, "Oh, you look nice." I'm just saying. (laughs) That's that's, probably how I would say. Oh, see, (laughs) that's why I said. Don't you do Roxy's way? That's why. (laughs) Just like, oh, you you smell good. We about to wrap. I want to ask Naomi. Yes, go ahead. So, 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 <laughs> to help my fellow guys from catching the case out here. Uh oh. What is the what is the proper you have a fat ass compliment? What? How do we say that? Because you you, you, you don't. Why do you have to say it? Because when she because when she said it, she said it with like the, the aggressive, right? Because you shouldn't say. Why so do you is have there a this? nice way that we can say it? And it would no. Make why do you have this to to specify a piece girl, of the yeah. body? Period. It's one thing, right? So if your man said, "Babe, on. your your butt look good in these jeans," that's different. Then you said, oh, but as nice. a man, that feels like you're being like a piece of me. Yes, it feels like a piece of me. But, but what if you put on your? Ass. I got the fed. I got my fed ass jeans. Listen, on. if you got a butt, it don't matter what you put on. It's going to be. It's going to be there. It right. doesn't matter. But if you got the special jeans on. <laughs> You look nice. You look nice. That's how I feel. I just feel like just a general compliment you look is nice. because if you shoot your shot the right way, later you'll be able to tell her, babe, you got a fat ass. <laughs> that was cute. So if you say it in a if you, you got a, if you say it in a respectful way me. up front, I don't want you to know. No, don't know. No, there is no respectful way to talk about somebody's behind. No. no. Mm-hmm. So you say, you know, right. something crazy, y'all here putting Coke bottles to shame or something like that? Guys say that? That's kind of in the window. Like, right? mm. Mm, you look good, girl. I don't know. So now you already, I'm sick. People, they don't, they don't, they don't mm. get it. Mm-mm. They don't you already sexualized it. me. I know in your head, you just put me on right. positions. No. <laughs> you look nice. Wow. Exactly. But she you know what? That we change the game if it's somebody we like. If you like. I was about to say that. We totally right. change the game when it's somebody we like. Because I could say that. If I didn't like you, but if I like him, I'll be like, I know, I know you seen it. I knew you was. And you do that, and I'm like, you go into that giggle and all of that. You do that. Oh my god. That's her. That's her. I'll be like, I'm a tongue palm. Be like, I know you was looking. Yes, I know you was looking. Yes, I know you was looking. Thank you, bye. Like, whatever. Mm. Like, yeah, all right. You ain't have to say it all like that. That was all rude and shit. I mean, like, damn, for real, you had to be so disrespectful. But if he fine and we like it, we'd be like, oh, thank you. I wasn't even sure if I had put if these was going to fit right. I thought that it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't sure, but thank you so thank you so much. I'm going to buy some more. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that is Roxy, y'all. Uh, that's I'm, only her? That's her. That's her. That's that's her. her. No, I, la- I laugh because... <laughs> it's real. Yeah, I'm like, I've, I've seen it a lot. It's that's real. A, that's oh the instant. God. I get checked on by my girlfriends. You wouldn't act like that if you liked them. I was like, yes, I would. You right. You might not check it as hard. You'd be like, hmm. No. So, oh, no. Like, I feel like... Am I even looking at him? Because now I'm off that right. harsh. I don't even know if I'm going to look up to make eye contact with But you me. might miss something if you don't. Oh, that, no, because to me, if you come in that hard, you probably not. For, like, because my personality, I'm like, you can't know, talk you know, that way. Know. Like, yeah. No, but to just, him, you might just be that bad. <laughs> You might just be trying to convince me. I know not to go on with you. And have some girl try to watch you. I'm like, girl, get up. You might just be that bad. Girl, you see that? Because we can get to us and I'm going to be like, oh, now I'm going to let you. I see you. We're about to go. All right, now it's okay. Like, I was weird since it is. It is. Because my was like, your butt is big. Girl, yeah. But my girlfriend. Like the what's it up? Right, but, but then when I, I tell girl, you that, I think my butt getting <laughs> like we do. But then when he but then when he 
then when a dude is like, damn, girl, what you... Are you sure you got a short to carry all that? You better take the line and carry that, this, that, and what you got. Like, you, right. I, y- y- y'all be lying because you know if he was fine and smelled good, y'all be like, oh. Yeah. I know that's what I know. We all kind of like, uh, <laughs> I, I, like, I don't know either. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, really in my head, like, if he was your type times. and you didn't even turn around and he was like, and he was your type. Physically. If I saw him first uh-uh, and no. I was already attracted to him. Heck with the saw. No, oh, heck no, with the saw. No. If he was behind you and and, and, and and you didn't even know, but when you turned around, he was everything you could have physically wanted from top to bottom. But when he was behind you, it was like, damn. Oh, you know, whatever the, whatever the line is, like, you know. I, you know, shit. Mm. You see, you got my I didn't, I didn't, I didn't come out. I turned around ready to curse him out, and then right. you, then you come I, out. I might not. I might be like, he could have, he could have said, everybody, you I know, might not you looking like a meal man. today. That's what, a I'm like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like my person, like I'm that. I might not. Like you said, nice for me, nasty. I probably would miss something because I'm like, fuck, you think he talk? Like I feel like that's gonna be my niche. So. I won't even take in the fact that I'm now if I see him first and he like, oh, I'm, not, I'm like, now next time, don't be talking to me like that. Though. <laughs> like, I might talk to him if I'm already, but if I don't see you first, you might not get So what if passes. you turn around with the mad face, kind of, and then he clean it up? I don't know. Because immediately, like, cause immediately the next line is, you know, I ain't mean no disrespect, sister, but. And then you kind of go into your other. Like, right. Now, if he went and followed up with something more respectful, then that might diffuse the situation. But 80% of them don't mean no disrespect. How many percent? Mm. Mm. Girl. (laughs) 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 What's that? What's that? Concerned about what the women are going to say, what they're well, going to think. I, I would so too. why do you think that ten, it's okay for us? If, but that's what happens if sometimes. It's ten like chicks we're and one dude, I'm not approaching the one I want that's in the middle of that circle. Because <laughs> if I'm gonna try to shoot my shot at that one chick in the middle, all Everybody of them, will, all of them will be like. What? I ain't like his shoes, girl. Don't don't talk to him in shoes. Look at his shoes. Mm-hmm. Look at, do you know, so so like why should he even come to that? But that's what I'm saying. But for us, that's how it is. If you're walking down the street and it's guys and you gotta walk through the piles, guys. Yo, I'm trying to say. Yo, look at it. It it full. It messes with you. It's like it makes you. It we makes know. you feel it's, it's insecure, in your look. right? Like, it all goes back to insecurity. Mm. It's in your look. Or self yeah, how they look like they right. hungry. Don't look like, at with that hungry look. Right. That's right. right. It feels like right. You're being objectified as you walk. It's like I'm walking. Like, what's happening? I don't have. Them. I'm a walk. I'm a walk through a crowd. I, I'm, I'm a walk, walk through a crowd. I'm a walk through the whole joint of the dudes and be like, "Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up with you? How you been? What's going on? Uh huh. Yep. I know it. I already know already. You only had to tell me. Yeah, I got you. I seen you. Yep. I know. I seen that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all take care now. I gotta look, go. All right. Apparently, yeah. you know. Okay. Uh, so, uh, supposedly, I got this back here. I don't you got something? It. I don't have nothing back there. Well, I'm gonna keep walking with my five inch stilettos on. Oh, I'm saying, don't, no, be like, hey, sis, or whatever. Right. Yeah, how you doing? Yo, all of y'all examples are so, like, cliche. What you mean? We no, but I'm it. saying, like, to talk like y'all, I'm saying, and all. I don't even, <laughs> I, 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 I don't even talk like, like that, that no more. Where y'all be going? Well, first of all, let me just back up, because now I am actually covering. Nobody tries to talk to me. <laughs> I don't know what they're right. they saying. I can remember oh. the last time someone tried to approach me, this is what happened. <laughs> 
Now, I, I don't know. Cause That's why she's sitting in the drawer like, take for the light and fucking try it. No. Because I don't see no. nobody in here. Not at all. I was like, I am, don't holler. No. No, I'm not all. I wish you would. You might turn them in the common. Maybe they think that. Because you got the oils and all of the stuff. But no. But you might start wearing like, straw hats and shit. No. Uh, well, I am kind of Erica Badu. Oh, yeah, so, that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing. But I'm saying, but I mean, when I'm out, I got to have on like something like this with so regular clothes, you know, the, the sun sundress and, mm -hmm. and all of that. The sundress season is almost yeah, here. Yeah, boy. And apparently, you know, that's they love sundresses and, you know, they like being the sundress. But that's never here nor there. I it don't sundress, have... Yeah. <laughs> He like, I'm, I'm, not, married I'm not closed <laughs> off. I'm not closed off. Well, I am next. I have somebody. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not like. Right. Don't even come over here. Don't even talk to me. I don't give a I don't give a Like, if you say, hey, good morning, I'm going to speak. Right. I'm not I'm not one of those. If I just say, hey, good morning, and leave it at that. Yeah, or, but now now I have to at this point say, oh, they say, oh, wait, let me get your number. Or, hey, let's, let's can what I talk to you? What if I add a beautiful to the end of it? Like, you know, that's right. Morning, beautiful. That's, that's respectful. Right. Mm. If you were like, mm. what? So he can't do that? Like, mm. good morning, you, beautiful. He can't do that? That's dear, that's fine. But I, I said, uh, you. good morning, beautiful. You ain't had an uh. Listen. <laughs> it is a way to do it. Like, it's a way to do it. I don't it. get that. I'm telling you. Don't it's come a way at me with that. I don't even know what that it. is. Or like, you're, I don't, first of all, I'm not a cat. Don't speak to me in animal. I don't speak animal. Don't do that. I speak animal, but don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Speak, speak to me in English. I will, oh, yeah, speak, I speak to me animal. in the king's English. I don't speak animal. Jeez. And she got an accent. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still English. It is. It's well, still English. So look. Yes. We can go on and on and on Maybe and on. Well. But we can't keep rocking until the break of freaking dawn, okay? It feel like it. So, I know. Talking about the holiday. Feel, is it a blood moon or Talking red about the I don't moon. know what it is. It's something. But, you know, it's all right. Holla at them the way you want to, boo. <laughs> Just keep. They be lying. <laughs> they be lying. Talk I'm about. Lying. <laughs> don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> hey, how you doing, sis? You looking good. That's you look nice. That's a nice dress. You smell really good. I like that hair. But so don't say, "Oh, girl." I'm talking about Rima. If if I'm Rima, I don't want you to say, "Oh, girl." I like that red lipstick. I know what that can do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know you, okay. son. I know you. Back up. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know, if you say it to me, I'll be like, I know too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> know your audience. It might not be with you, but I know though. Thank you for that compliment. Know your mm -hmm. audience. Uh, you know what I mean? So, you know, just <laughs> get that together. So, this was insecurities, self assurances, all of it tied in together. You know what I mean? Figure it out. What you are and what you need. Oh my God, that was hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. She's making me tear. <laughs> Figure out what you need. Make sure you be kind. Compliment somebody, but be nice. Don't grunt when you do it. Because Rima don't like that. Don't you hear me. me. <clears throat> <laughs> That's going to crack me up to the day. I can't, I can't get over it. But this has been an episode, oh my gosh, of The Fab and the Furious. Uh, we wish Cassandra well. Get better. Get better. Soon. Like I can. Congratulations, Belita, on the opening of the play, and we'll see it back in June. It's coming back. We'll check that out as well. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to everybody who came down to Bally's and Boardwalk Hall over the Mother's Day weekend. Thank you so much for standing up, shouting me out uh, while I was on stage. It was crazy, and I appreciate it so much. Um, shout out to Christopher Williams, and, and I'll be sure for the lookout. I appreciate that as well. Shout out to Lady B. I love you so much. And... Um, Again, I'm Roxy Fab. You can find me on everything social media. R O X I F A B. And that's Rima. Don't yurt me. <laughs> Where can they find you at one more time? <laughs> Not at your. <laughs> R E M A 1920. That's Naomi. Where can they find you at again? Nay, A K A. Nay underscore aka underscore Phoenix. I know it's a lot, y'all. It's all right. Phoenix is, <laughs> Phoenix is coming out at the pajama party. <laughs> all right. Mm. That's where you'll meet Anastasia Beaverhausen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's 
And that's K, and you can find him at, like he says, just come on. I like it. I like it. All right, you guys, thank you so much, and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching.